now that we have a sh model of the short run and the long run, we need to talk about the difference between the two and the transition from the short run to the long run. So remember, the short run in macroeconomics is the period of time in which prices don't change very much. And what we saw was output was determined by demand, and so movements of the aggregate demand curve affect output quite a bit and prices just a little bit. In the long run, it's the period of time in which prices have fully adjusted to any economic changes. And here we saw changes in aggregate demand only affected the price level. So we want to be able to talk about these two things and answer different questions. One of the questions we might look at is, how does what happens in the short run determine what happens in the long run? And then how long is the short run? Here's a couple things to remember. Wages and prices are going to adjust over time. And once the wages and pr prices adjust, we are no longer in the short run. In fact, that's how we're going to talk about how long the short run is. It's the amount of time during which wages and prices are relatively constant. So some of the things that we know are when unemployment is below the natural rate, output is above potential. If output is above potential, unemployment is below the natural rate. In other words, we're hiring too many people. And so if there's an, you can think of it as an excess demand for labor, and this is going to increase wages and increase prices. This is the adjustment we're going to see between the short run and the long run. If we can have a short run equilibrium where output is below potential output, then what we would know is that unemployment is above the natural rate. We're not hiring enough people. You can think of this as an excess supply of labor, and under these circumstances, wages and prices are going to fall. And this is the adjustment mechanism that we're going to see as we look at the transition from the short run to the long run.